Sweet, so we have the new Norco arm here, and um, what's the history behind the bike, and how long have you guys been developing it? So we started this one about three years ago, we started thinking about it a few years before that. Yeah. It starts off as an R&D project, we decided we wanted to make a high pivot bike with a rear and axle path. We needed to have an idler to isolate the chain from the suspension. Um, so we decided that we'd cut some molds and make a couple of frame sizes of the bike and then we'd get them under the World Cup Norco Factory Racing Team for a season and see what they thought of it. We produced um, some carbon front and rear triangles and then a number of different aluminium, aluminium linkage plates so they could try different leverage rates and figure out what was going to work best for them. Yeah, so what do we have going on with the headset here? So we decided we wanted to have a reach just in the headset just to allow riders to fine tune their cockpit. So we have a zero position, a plus four and a plus eight millimeters position. It doesn't change angle, just changes reach. And is there any other geometry adjustment points on the bike? Uh, no, we kind of, as a company, we always kind of pick the geometry we think is going to be best and what we like riding ourselves for the consumer. So we don't, haven't really done adjustable geometry now. Yeah, so how many how many prototypes did this bike go through um, all together? So we um, kind of hit the geometry where we wanted it off the bat and then we so then we cut carbon front and rear triangles and then we went through maybe a hundred iterations of suspension design um, and then we did maybe four or five different linkages with a short shot and then we moved to the long shock, the 225 by 75 and we've done about another four or five different links for that one and uh, the team had kind of tested them through the season and figured out they kind of kept going back to one link that they really liked and that's the link that we took to production so the consumer really is getting the, the same bike that the World Cup team are getting. And how does this top, top mount work? Uh, so this is a, a trending mount shock. So it allows you to have a shorter eye to eye for the stroke length. And it gives you, allows you to put bearings in both ends of the shock as well. And this piece on top is just to provide rigidity? Yeah, it's just a stiffness bridge for the two side plates. Gotcha. And do you have to remove that to take the shock out, or can you leave that piece there? No, you don't. You can get it out. Okay. And then what's the pulley system um, in here? Is it um, just a bearing or a bushing? How does that work? Um, so the main pivot for the bike is just up here. Okay. Um, so when the suspension compresses, the rear wheel moves backwards. And if we didn't have an idler, the you'd get a lot of extension of the chain, right. and you'd get a lot of kickbacks in the pedals. So um, we added the idler. So the, the chain runs straight across the center of the main pivot. Um, so the idler just runs on a bearing. Um, okay. It's pretty straightforward. It's narrow wide. And then we have uh, plastic covers, front and rear, just to help the chain retention. Um, if we didn't have the idler, yeah, you'd, you'd get a lot of kickback through the bike. And what it gives is very free suspension movement, um, isolates the rider from the train, less rider fatigue, um, and just better uh, suspension performance, especially in small bump. And uh, is it two chains, chain and a half? Well, how much chain does it take for this big of a bike? So it depends on the frame size. We have gravity tune, so. Um, as the frame sizes get bigger, the rear centers get bigger as well. Right. So on the biggest, uh, like the longest rear center, the biggest frame size, you might need to run just over a chain. But uh, like on my bike, I've just been running. And the what's chain. the size ranges? Um, so we do 650 in four sizes. So okay. an extra small, 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 medium, medium, large, and large, extra large. And 29 in two sizes, so medium, large, and a large, extra large. And this is the 29 inch bike? This is a 29, yeah. And the 29 and the 650 frames are completely separate, they're not interchangeable. Yeah, different front triangles and different rear triangles. Okay. Gotcha. We, we developed the 650 first and obviously tried to figure out if we could use some of the same components just to keep the cost down a bit. But sure. There's too many drawbacks, like engineering drawbacks and geometry problems, so we just decided to just go all out and do it properly and cut some more models. And are all the racers on the 29 inch bike right now? 
I think so for this. I think we're all going to see him in very short time. Right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, we're excited to watch him race on the sea bike. And uh, yeah, thanks for sharing this with us.